I'm going to show you how to add your uh, initial content once your site has been kind of formatted and designed. And this is the area, as soon as you log into your Squarespace account, this is what's going to come up. Over here on the right side is actually your website. And you can actually click through it. It's sort of, it's a working website. You're going to be working on these pages. You're going to see your changes live. Over here on the left, are the different areas that you can uh, work on. You're going to be dealing right now because we're just inputting content as your pages. The design area, your designers already kind of preset settings for you in there. Uh, settings area um, over here will be your billing account information. And there'll be some areas you'll work on once you take over the site and start working on your own. But we're going to be working on your pages, so it's the pages area. We're going to click on that. Now there's two ways to kind of navigate now. We can click on um, the pages within the folder. They're grouped the same way they're grouped on your website. Sort of your categories of your navigation. And the areas that you're going to be um, editing are done in blocks. So these black box give me features for what's grayed. This gray area that's highlighted once I get into this area means I'm clicking on the right area. So I want to edit this area. Everything in here is going to be editable as a separate block. When I was out here, sort of a hierarchy thing, um, I was getting just this and this. So we have two areas we can edit. This is your header. This is your page name and the largest headline on the page. So to edit this, you would put in your cursor and you'd select it. You have a little WYSIWYG that kind of comes up like your word processing. Um, this one is preset. Don't change it from heading one. These are your different font sizes. It's not like regular typefaces. Um, normal is your paragraph. Um, your page name, your largest headline is your heading two, one, and then heading two, which believe it or not, finely crafted furniture personalized, those are heading twos. So if you're going to change this, you just select it, um, type over it, and then hit save, and changes are made. So we're going to edit this area because we're going to be putting captions on our photos and moving photos around, and we're going to, if you notice, this is generic text. We're going to update this and show you how to change this. So we've got this area, it's great, I know it's right, edit. So the first area we're going to work on is this grouping of text. Okay, so we can just, you can hit your cursor anywhere in it, and this comes up. So simply what you want to do is we're going to put in some new um, text here. copying text over. So you can just select it if you, you should have your content ready to copy and paste. And so I'm just going to paste it over this. Um, you got to bring your cursor back up every once in a while. So I just I just put some new um, text in there. So I don't like this headline. I'm going to make this. Uh, we're going to say personalize custom tables. Um, you can do the same here. Once it's done, you go up, hit save. All set. We've made some changes. Now we still need to work on some photos over here, so we still want to work in this area. This whole box is here. We're going to just click Edit, go over here, and this is the photo gallery. We have down here testimonials. If you have some testimonials, you can add them in here. They're individually, um, and this is the headline testimonials for this area. Um, if we don't have to testimonials, we will delete this later. But at this point, we're going to edit our gallery. And these are all the photos that are already in here. Now, one easy thing that you can do is if you don't like the order of how these are done and you want to move things around, you just grab these, move them to where you want them. So this is the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, um, and so on. Now, to go in and work on the captions, if you notice, each one of these photographs has its own editing button. 
So we're not good. The pencil actually does some editing to the photo. I don't suggest using that but um, for sizing or anything. I usually do things outside, but that's something to talk about later. But we want to do the caption. This is a gear. So if we click on the gear, it opens up this window. And this is where <clears throat> you would type in um, your name of your item, which would be sort of the headline in this area, and your description. Um, once you get it to your likings, you click Save, and it's done. So I will, this one has one. If you don't want to change it, you want to look at it, just hit Cancel. Um, this is a unique table, so that one we've done. You can just copy over this if you want. I'm not doing any formatting. You can make it bold in the text here. Um, just for continuity, I think we're just keeping it the way the template uses it. So this one doesn't have one. Um, we'll just call. It, we'll just give it a name. You can change it. Table. We're going to put in some description here and hit save. Now there's a couple saves here. We saved it within here, but it's not going to be done um, until I hit apply. And believe it or not, we have one more save to save, even though we did the we did this within the gallery. We have to click save overall for it to approve the changes. And now we can look through and see these captions we put in. Now you have more to do and you have some started which you can go edit. Again, remember to edit these photos. You have to do the main block. The whole thing is great. Edit. And then hit edit the gallery. And change those captions. You hover over the photo and hit its gear. And save. Or cancel if you're just looking at it. So that's pretty much how you're going to change your content and, and, and add your content. Now on the home page, um, we have two. Um, this is the headline. To edit the headline, it's on its own box. Same thing. You just go and select, change it. Keep it at heading one. You should just type over, paste over. Um, this this little thing's going to bring up things you can add to the area. We're not going to work on that any of that at this point. You're going to work with what's contents here. Same thing. This is in its own box. You want to edit mode? Yep. You're just going to select. and paste in your new content and watch your spacing. It does do an extra tab down. You want to bring it back up and hit save. And you can add more paragraphs. Um, um, I can help with the formatting um, once we get it done. Uh, our story over here, we have I've set it up. We have a right um, hand sidebar. Um, we can find contact, content to discuss what we can put here because this will show up the same on several pages. But you can um, add your story in here. Um, don't worry about adding photos within this. We will do that once the content's in. Uh, you have an ordering page. See how this has that same information? We'll figure out what to put there. If you think of something and you want to now, you can do that. Um, but you can edit, you can do your bulleting or not bulleting. Uh, this is set up that this is a heading three. Um, this is your paragraph. Uh, you can change this, you can take out the bulleted, you can put a paragraph in here. If you had a word, use a Word document, it's about the same setup. So there you have it. That's pretty much where you're going, what you're going to be doing to edit. 
uh, good luck um, and don't be afraid um, if you don't like what you did I went in um, something kind of got wigged out I don't know where I was working on it and oh this isn't right don't panic just go up hit cancel hit discard cancel just cancels your cancels keeps this doesn't save it we want to get we want to get back to what we had you just want to discard it and see we're back to where we started so remember that if you're in edit mode you do something you don't like doesn't look right just cancel and discard and you didn't lose anything we're back where you started so good luck um, inputting content and don't worry I can format and we can um, once you get some of that in we can finish playing around with it. Good luck.